Make sure you guys keep those scores coming in to our Twitter account, at MacPreps. As we begin the fourth quarter here at Barney Swinehart Field, pistol formation, Keaton gets the snap, handoff to Olszewski. But this one's going to be whistled dead before it even gets going. False start on the Chieftains. That'll back them up five yards. Back to their own 36-yard line, bringing up a second down and 12. Shotgun, Olszewski set to the right. Keen rolls out to his right side. Pass appears to be intercepted, but out of bounds there, Jordan Ramsey for the Titans. Keen rolled to his right. Pass intended by Zachary Jacobs. Once again, Keen overthrowing his receiver as the Titans get a hand on that one. Ball was in the air, caught by Ramsey, but out of bounds. So the Chieftains retain possession and will face a third down and 12 situation here. Just underway in the fourth quarter. Ball in between the hashes. Four wide for the Chieftains. Keen, shotgun formation. Olszewski sets to the left to him. Keen gets the snap, drops back the pass, looking over the middle, lets it go for a wide open wide receiver. Connects with Jason Azar. Azar to the left side and finally pushed out of bounds. And he pass complete. But not before he picks up a first down, Hunter Nowak, and three. Hunter Nowak forcing Azar out of bounds. First down, Chieftains, as the Chieftains gonna go no huddle. And pick up the pace here as they cross into Titan territory. First and 10 at the Titan 39 yard line. 7-7 ball game. Back to the pistol formation for the Chieftains with four wide. Keen with the give up the middle to Olszewski. He'll be brought down in the backfield. Brought down by number 56, Sal Madonna. The senior defensive lineman Drops Olszewski for a loss of two. That'll bring up second and 12 now for the Chieftains. Four wide for the Chieftains. Ball on the left hash. Keen, shotgun formation. Olszewski set to the left. Keen drops back to pass. Quickly looks to his left. Complete to his wide receiver but quickly forced out of bounds after a pickup of four yards. That's Jacobs on the reception. Down to the Titan 38 yard line, setting up a third down and long for the Chieftains. Seven, seven ball game here at Barney Swinehart Field our week six game of the week all tied up at seven third down and nine situation for the chieftains four wide shotgun keen gets the snap drops back to pass looks to his right deep ball incomplete looking for garrison nix but again overshooting the junior wide receiver Nick's doing a great job creating separation. Keen had a wide open wide receiver, but overthrows him. So that's going to bring a uh, uh, punt situation up for the Chieftains, fourth and nine. At the tight 38 yard line. So I'm sure the Titan special teams on their toes as the Chieftains. Snap back to Barch. Barch gets the kickoff. 
That one's going to bounce around the Titan 18 yard line before it's down by the uh, Chieftains. The official spot after the Chieftains down that punt will be the 19-yard line as the Titans take over first and 10. Madonna back in at quarterback, takes the snap, looking deep. Deep ball, wide open, wide receiver laying out was Jordan Ramsey. Number six, Madonna's passing number But Madonna overthrowing his receiver. Ramsey had a step on the Utica secondary but Madonna unable to connect. So the Titans sticking with the sophomore quarterback now, replacing Dylan Kleinedler. Madonna connecting with Shumati quickly on the first play of the last drive, evening up this game, as Madonna pitches left to Wingfield, who looks at the left side. Pick up of around nine yards for Wingfield, setting up a third down in one situation for the Titans as the ball gets spotted on the Titan 28 yard line. No huddle for the Titans, heavy set. Two tight ends as the Titans got too many men on the field. Penalty flag comes out. And for the second time, Stevenson is looking at an illegal substitution penalty. And that's going to march them back five yards, turning a third and one situation into a third and six. So for the second time tonight, a personnel penalty pushing the Titans back from a third and short to a third and long situation. Ball spotted on the Titan 23 yard line. Left hash. As Madonna gets the play, breaks the huddle. Shotgun formation, three wide for the Titans. Madonna give to Wingfield. Wingfield off the right side, cuts it up the middle before he's stuffed by the Utica lineman. Short pickup, maybe one, two yards on the play. Official spot out, just past the 25 yard line. Bringing up a fourth down and three. And once again, the Titans being forced to punt. Nix, the junior, back to receive for the Chieftains. As Zach Eames set to kick it away for the Titans. Snap is back, Eames gets it away. Ball is off, that one's gonna bounce around midfield, taking a great favorable Titan bounce all the way down to the Chieftain 36 yard line before it's down by the Titan Savio Saka. So the Chieftains will take over first and 10 here in the fourth quarter with just over eight minutes remaining. We are all knotted up at seven in this one. A McComb Area Conference crossover battling taking place here at Barney Swinehart Field. The Utica Chieftains with the ball. Pistol formation. Olszewski behind Keen. Olszewski gets the ball. Working the right side of that line. Nothing doing. Clogged up by number 58, El Hadi Giovanni. Loss of two on the play, bringing up a second and 12 for the Chieftains. Under eight minutes to go here in the fourth quarter as Olszewski, Olszewski checks out of the game for a breather. 
New personnel in for the Chieftains. Empty backfield, five wide. Three to the short side, up top, ball on the left hash. Keen, shotgun, gets the snap, drops back to pass. Looking over the middle, lets it go. Picked off, dropped by Dre White. Should have been an interception, but Dre White drops that pass. Keen letting that one go over the middle as we get a flag in the backfield as we wait the official ruling. Holding is the call on the Chieftains. That's going to be a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, setting up a second and real long situation for the Chieftains now as that ball is spotted on the Chieftain 19 yard line officially making it second and 27 for the Chieftains. Just under eight minutes to play here in the fourth quarter second and 27. Shotgun formation. Keen handoff to Olszewski as Olszewski is going to be brought down quickly by number 20, Nick Wingfield, who's slow to get up. Looks like he's favoring a shoulder there. As we're going to take an official's timeout for the injured players, both teams going to come to the sideline. Once again, that senior running back, defensive back, Nick Wingfield that's down on the turf after making that tackle. After a short pickup by Olszewski. Only a gain of three yards, so that'll set up a third down and 26 situation for the Chieftains at their own 22 yard line as the Titan medical staff continues to tend to Nick Wingfield. as Wingfield is up on both two legs and walking off the field. Good sign there for the senior, key player there for the Titans. As he's gonna head to the sideline and shake that one off, we return back to action. Third down and long situation for the Chieftains at their own 20. After the holding penalty, Four wide, Keen, shotgun formation. Keen gets the snap, drops back, looking to pass. Steps up into the pocket, he's gonna be set by the Titans. First one in was number 71, Cameron Wilson. Joined by number 58, El Hadi Giovanni. As Keen's gonna be brought down at the 14 yard line, making it fourth and 32 is Matty Barch back to punt for the Chieftains. Kick is away, short punt, shanked off the side of Birch's foot, bouncing around the Chieftains 33 yard line, rolling back out to the Chieftain 46 yard line before it'll be down by number 19, Ethan Gierke. So the Titans able to flip the field on the Chieftains here in the fourth quarter. Six minutes, 26 seconds remaining here in this week six ball game. We are all knotted up at seven here between the Stevenson Titans and Utica Chieftains. Stevenson in the Mac Red, two and three overall. Chieftains, Mac White, two and three overall. Both these teams fighting to keep their playoff hopes alive. First and 10 for the Titans as Madonna remains at quarterback for the Titans. Madonna pitch right out to Ramsey, cutting up to the right side, avoiding a defender. As Ramsey's going to make his way out to the 38 yard line, pick up of eight. Late flags out on the sideline. As it's a face mask called against the Chieftains. 
which will tack on 15 more yards from the end of that run. Making it a first down and 10 for the Titans deep in Chieftain territory. So this is the deepest the Titans have been in Chieftain territory all night as their touchdown came off of a 55 yard play. So first and 10 for the Titans, empty backfield. Madonna, pump fake, looking over the middle, lets it go, got his wide receiver. Broken up nicely by the Chieftains defensive backs. That was number three, Shane Lutz, coming over top to knock that one away. Check that number two, the junior, Keegan Bahar. Berg on the coverage as well, bringing up a second down and 10 situation for the Titans at the Chieftain 22 yard line. Titans break the huddle. Heavy backfield set to the left of Madonna. As this play is going to be whistled dead early. False start on the Titans. So again, a Titan penalty is going to back him up five yards. Pushing the ball back to the Chief to 27-yard line. Set up a second and 15 situation just over halfway through the fourth quarter. Titans officially making the switch at quarterback. Number six, Biagio Madonna. Now running the ship for the Titans. Bunch right formation, empty backfield for Madonna as Ramsey motions to him. Fake to Ramsey, up the middle. Quarterback keep down to the 25 yard line is Madonna. Pick up a two, that'll bring up a third down and 13 for Stevenson. Third down and long at the Chieftain 25 yard line. Empty set for the Titans. Madonna shotgun formation drops back to pass looking to his left side he'll roll out to the left being pursued by the Chieftains chucks it up and dropped in the end zone that was Wingfield cutting across the back of the end zone going up for that one but that one's going to bounce out of the seniors hands and that'll bring up a fourth and 13 situation and decision time for the Titans as the ball is at the 25 yard line. They're gonna bring out the field goal unit in a 7-7 ball game with 522 left to play. Ball spotted at the 25. Holder setting up at the 32, officially making this a 42 yard field goal for the senior Zach Eves. Flags out, the kick is up. And the kick is and wide to the left hit. side, but multiple flags. As the officials will gather around the 25 yard line, the official ruling, false start. And the Check that, we'll call that an illegal motion. There's no dead ball. So the kick, 42 yards, no good. That play will stand with 5.17 left to go in the fourth quarter, and the Chieftains will take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Our week six ball game, setting up to be a great finish here at Barney Swinehart Field. Chieftains break the huddle. Double tight set for the Chieftains. Nix motioning to the left side. Keen shotgun. Olszewski set up to his left side. He'll get the handoff to the right side. Working his way upfield down to the 30. Keeping those legs moving. All the way down to the 34 yard line. 
as the rest of his Chieftain team will come and aid him up to the 35 yard line. And it took every bit of all 11 Titans bringing him down. So first down and 10 situation now for the Chieftains. Ball spotted at the 33 yard line as we hit the five minute mark left to go in this game. Tight end to the right side. Two wide receivers off to the left. Wide side Keen. Give to Olszewski. Olszewski cuts up field. Make his way out to the 37 yard line. So a nice pickup of four yards on first down. That'll set, set up second and six for the Chieftains. Clock continuing to run as we are now down to four and a half minutes left to go in this bowl game. Pistol formation for the Chieftains, tight end to the right. Keen, give to Olszewski, Olszewski up the middle, breaking through a tackle and bowling his way through the Titans secondary out to the 45 yard line where he's finally brought down by number eight, Tony Shumati, but not before another Chieftain first down out to the 44 yard line. Chieftains taking their time, trying to methodically piece this drive together in a tied ball game under four minutes to go. 7-7, Chieftains first and 10 at their own 44 yard line. Shotgun, Keen gets the snap. Fake to El Fakir. Pass complete to Jacobs. As Jacobs is gonna scamper across midfield into the Titan territory, down to the 43 yard line. Another big pickup for the Chieftains. Setting up another first down and 10, this time from the Titan 43 yard line. Just over three minutes to go in the half. Chieftains come to the ball. Pistol formation, tight end to the right. Keen gets the snap. Hands off to Al Alpha Kerr. Alpha Kerr bottled up quickly there. By number 20, Wingfield. Back in the game from that injury, drops Al Kafir for a one-yard loss. That'll bring up second and 11 for the Chieftains. Four wide for the Chieftains, two to each side. Al Kerr to Keen's right. Shotgun, Keen gets the snap, drops back, looking over the middle. Now rolling out to his right, being chased by Titan defensive linemen, as that one's gonna be thrown to the sideline and once again, caught out of bounds. That keeps pass incomplete. So nothing doing for those wide receivers. As Keen just throws it out of bounds in the vicinity. That was Ramsey who got his hands on it, but out of bounds. So third and 11 situation for the Chieftains at the Titan 44 yard line. Four wide trips to the left side. Keen, shotgun, drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket and Keen's gonna be set. By the big man, El Hadi Giovanni. So the big man with the pressure off the left edge, Keen tried to step up but could not escape the arms of Giovanni. And that's going to force a punting situation for the Chieftains at midfield. That's Tony Schumati back at the 20 yard line for the Titans. Barch barely gets that one away. Ball's going to bounce around the Titan 28 yard line and roll out down to the Titan 24 yard line where that ball will be downed by the Chieftain's special teams. 
So here we go. Setting up a late game situation here in our week six game of the week. This crosstown rivalry all tied up at seven with just 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Stevenson takes over first and 10 at their 24 yard line. The sophomore remains in the game at quarterback for the Titans. Empty backfield, five wide. Madonna drops back to pass over the middle, complete to his wide receiver. That's Ramsey, the sophomore, with the crossing route over the middle. Big pickup out to midfield. Ball being spotted at the 47-yard line. First and 10 Titans as we come up on a minute to play here in the fourth quarter. Titans huddle, but quickly. Once again, empty, empty backfield for Madonna. Three wide to the right side. Madonna drops back to the pass, looks to the right, rolls to his right, takes off running as he's gonna be tripped up. Shoestring tackle there by the and Chieftain's defense. As that ball is going to get spotted at the 49-yard line. Empty backfield for the Titans. Madonna shotgun formation. Three wide to the left. Madonna looks to the left. Pressured by the Chieftains. Madonna is going to take off as he's going to scamper across the line of gain. He'll be marked out of bounds at the Chieftain 41-yard line. The clock will stop. And number six. So a 10-yard pickup for the sophomore, Biagio Madonna. As the quarterback picks up a first down for the Titans. With 48 seconds to play here in the ball game, all tied up at seven. Sophomore, shotgun formation, ball on the right hash, three wide to the left as Biagio is gonna get it, rid of it quickly as the Titans are off and running. Shoestring tackle down to the five yard line. That's Tony Shimani. Receives the quick pass from Madonna and scampers up the right side of the field on that Chieftain defense all the way down to the nine yard line. As we're gonna get an injury timeout Check that called timeout as Shumati was stretching it out a little bit. He's going to head to the sideline. He might have to check out for a play after that big pickup. So now a late game situation here for the Titans. Down to the Chieftain's seven yard line. So a game that's had a little bit of everything in it comes down to these final moments and final plays. 38 seconds remained in the ball game, all knotted up at seven. Stevenson with the ball at the Chieftain's seven yard line. Checking back into the game is Dylan Kleinleader as he's under seven, under center as the Chieftains are gonna get a last second timeout called before that play gets called. So the Titans checking Klein Adler back into the game, changing personnel. Chieftains noticing that they're gonna get a timeout right before that play was ran. So timeout Utica, Stevenson on their own yard line their own sideline. The whole team's gonna come out to the sideline for this timeout huddle. They're not gonna give any personnel away to the Chieftains. As it's first and seven, first and goal from the seven yard line.
two teams return to action after the timeout. And indeed, indeed, Klein Edler is going to come back into the game for the Titans. Looking like he's going under center. Double tight formation. Two in the backfield for the Titans. They've got a first and goal situation with 38 seconds remaining. This one all tied up at seven. Klein Edler under center. Snap. Give to Wingfield. Wingfield tries the right side. Quickly bottled up by the Chieftain defense. Garrison Nix on the tackle. We'll see how it's spotted. We got another timeout. Timeout called by the Titans this time. As no gain recorded on that play, ball will be spotted at the seven yard line once again. Titans call a timeout. They've got one remaining. Check that. That was their last timeout used by the Titans as they want an opportunity to set up their last drive. So here we go. Set the stage. Under 30 seconds to play here in the ball game. All tied up at seven. Stevenson, Utica doing battle here at Barney Swinehart Field. Stevenson with the ball second and goal. Klein Edler remains in the game. Pistol formation for the Titans. Two to the left side and two in the backfield set to the left of Klein Edler. Wait for the referee to give us the okay to play as the whistle blows. Two in the backfield for Stevenson. Direct snap to Wingfield, he's gonna give it to the reverse, and touchdown, Stevenson, a little bit of trickery, as Klein Edler motions out of the backfield, direct snap to number six, Biagio Madonna, as Klein Edler releases into the end zone, Biagio finds him in the corner, and the Titans, into the end zone, take a 13-7 lead here with 25 seconds to go. Here comes the extra point. There's the snap, the hold, kick is up and it's blocked by the Chieftains. So with 25 seconds to go, we add a little bit more drama to this game as the Titans take a 13-7 lead after the block extra point. Hines back to kick for the Titans. Nick's back for the Chieftains. Ball squibbed on the ground up the middle as Nix is going to grab that ball and quickly fall down at his own 26-27 yard line. Official spot at the 27. Shotgun formation. Four wide receivers for the Chieftain. Olszewski to the right side of Keane. Keane gets the pat. Gets the snap. Drops back to pass. Looking to his right side. Wide open. Garrison Nix with, with the completion. Pushed out of bounds. He's by Madonna on the at the Chieftain 36 yard line 18 seconds to go second and one Chieftains down six Keen breaks the huddle, four wide for the Chieftains. Shotgun, Olszewski set to Keen's left side. Keen gets the snap, drops back to pass, looking over the middle, rolling out to his right side, looking downfield. He's gonna throw this one to the sideline, out of bounds. On the catch is Nix. But that one is out of bounds, so the ball remains spotted at the Chieftain 36 yard line. Now with 11 seconds to go, the Chieftains down by six. Going to have to make a couple of deep shots at this one. 
One timeout on the board for the Chieftains with 11 seconds to go. So here it is. One timeout for the Chieftains. 11 seconds to play. Down six. Ball at their own 36 yard line. Four wide for the Chieftains. Keen, shotgun. Olszewski set to his left. Keen with the ball. Drops back to pass. Looking over the middle. He's going to be set by the defensive line. Big number 58. El Hadi Giovanni coming up big for the Titans. Once again, bringing pressure off the left side of that line. Ball game, 70 yards away from tying it up. Fourth and seven. Four wide for the Chieftains. Keen shotgun. Olszewski to his left. Keen scouting the defense. Four back deep for the Titans. Keen stepping up in the pocket, throwing it deep. There it is. As that one's going to fall incomplete. No time left on the clock. Ball intended to Jason Azar, the sophomore. But it's going to fall incomplete as the Stevenson Titans are going to take this one with the late game touchdown. Final score 13 to 7 in our week six game of the week from Barney Swinehart Field.